Welcome to San Diego Market Movers. I'm your host, Valley, and I'm here with Mark Lotsoff. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thanks for asking. So, Good. Mark, I mean, this is a different kind of market that we're in. Yep. Um, if people are seeing their homes sit on the market for longer than they're comfortable with, what are some strategies they can do to get their home sold? So what's interesting is we're exploring the new, it's not a new concept, but the possibility of using an auction um, to get that additional exposure and use that as a way to guarantee the sale, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, if you're able to sell it, you can get it done in 30 days as is finished. How does it work? So basically there's um, three different options on ways that you could sell your home. You could have a sealed bid auction, mm -hmm. you can have an online auction, or you could have a live in-person auction. Mm -hmm. And we've got facilities and opportunities available. So it's actually a very interesting um, option to use now, especially if it's a an unique and a home that has been sitting on the market for a while. Mm -hmm. So selling at auction, it does it kind of sell for less or are they generally? So gener no, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. It's generally market value mm -hmm. and it will be determined with multiple bidders. Mm -hmm. So it's just another way to get multiple offers on your mm -hmm. home. If they do have a winning bidder, mm -hmm. are they obligated to sell to that person at that price? If um, technically, yes. Mm -hmm. So you can set some boundaries and um, believe it or not, often homes sold at auction are sold before they go to the auction because of the additional exposure mm -hmm. that you're getting as a homeowner. Often you will get offers before you even sell through the auction. You actually don't even need to go to auction. Right. And so not every agent has access to this platform and this technology. It's kind of... Well, no, I think that, you know, it's probably open for people. It's just that we've created a relationship with a couple of companies that are motivated mm -hmm. and are willing to help us achieve the goal and get it done. So and are you some. seeing people's homes sit a little longer than they used to be? Some of them. It just mm -hmm. depends, you know, depend on the unique homes. Uh, in every category, obviously, there are options where an auction might be something that brings finality to them mm -hmm. and can get a result really fast. How would a seller know that they are a good candidate for this auction process? That's a great question. I think it personally comes down to um, not getting any activity and maybe help an adjustment on pricing. Mm -hmm. Maybe not enough people have seen the home. Maybe you're not getting the exposure that you need. There's so many different variables. Mm -hmm. It's really a case-by-case -case situation. So if your home's sitting and it's a little stale, mm -hmm. maybe your listing agreement is expiring soon, they're considering, let me go about this a different way, um, and just they could reach out to you if they're looking to... Yeah, they could reach out to me or even talk to the agent that they mm -hmm. have it currently listed with. I like that. Um, you know, so they've got options, but mm -hmm. it's just it's just a new way to think about possibly getting some activity yeah. and and find a way. To I get like your that. Home That's why you're one of the best because you stir up the process, get creative, and find solutions for people to buy or sell. I yeah, love it. That's what it's all about. You're amazing. Thanks, Thanks. for being on the show. I appreciate it. Bye. Thank you, guys.